Uh, welcome uh, to another episode of St. Vincent Untold Stories. On this episode, we give you uh, the latest updates on the loss of the volcano in St. Vincent and uh, many more. Uh, big ups uh, to all of my subscribers and if you are new to the channel hit the like uh, button uh, the subscribe button and hit the bell icon because you are going to want to see this video and uh, many more uh, like uh, this one uh, to say uh, that the big man is not uh, doing anything when it comes to the volcano relief effort would be an understatement He's doing a lot of things, uh, but what we don't uh, like is how they are playing party cards with this thing. Whenever you speak uh, the truth, uh, the big man comes out and say uh, they are persons uh, creating mischief. Uh, they are persons who are badly affected uh, by the volcanic eruption and they had to evacuate in uh, public shelters and uh, private shelters. And there are persons who haven't received anything from Nemo up to this day. Which while as there are persons in the green zone who are party card holders uh, that got stuff uh, before those that were affected. Uh, so tell me what you think. Uh, so, uh, because we highlighted those issues, uh, they are saying uh, that it's mischief. Uh, wrong is wrong and uh, no one is perfect and uh, no one is above the law. Untold stories can uh, make mistake. If you see any time on the program that we make a mistake, you can call us out or you can say, well, untold stories, uh, this is not the way it went. Uh, what we are saying, uh, this thing has been going on for too long now. Even if you are a party card holder and there is a disaster, you cannot put party card holders first. You have to put the most vulnerable. Uh, do you remember when we did that episode? With the floods that came and uh, there were people saying uh, that they live next to one another and uh, their neighbors also were fixed and their houses wasn't. And, and now comes the volcano, we are seeing the same thing. Uh, let me just highlight how smart uh, some people are. Uh, because we were speaking about the issues, uh, they started uh, to send some links to our program, uh, trying to block the program. And now what you think they did? Uh, there were some private agents who were making ads as well and talking about the issues but they were using some platforms like untold stories uh, to send out the ads what you think they did uh, they blocked the ads from running on their vpns but we would find that company and when we find them we would show you how saint vincent is uh, but uh, this is what uh, they don't uh, know uh, those ads are being seen uh, by outside VPNs. Uh, so, when they think uh, that the message is not getting out, it is getting out because the world is watching in. Uh, you heard about the Prime Grant. You heard about the stimulus package. Some people who needed it uh, didn't get any. Uh, now, because we are highlighting those issues, asking where those monies went, uh, they are trying all kind of things. Uh, so, we as evacuees, we must just sit uh, back and let that volcano relief money just disappear. And then you are going to come and tell us uh, some millions went here. And this cost 1.5 million and 3.5 million and so forth. Uh, no, sir. Uh, remember, we are not uh, pretending uh, that we are the most skilled and the most educated. What we are trying to get out of is extreme poverty. Uh, the guy uh, that created uh, the WhatsApp uh, messenger, he was once a janitor. Uh, so we must never uh, try to look uh, down on anyone. We don't uh, know what they may become in life. We uh, cannot stand aside anymore and uh, see that youths have potential. Youths have the skills and the education uh, to get sorting jobs or to do sorting things, to become creators and inventors. And they are denied the opportunity because you put party card holders first. No. Remember, uh, the countries were calling and they said you have to take uh, the job first. But I told you they would not want the people to leave. You see now they are saying uh, that the people uh, that left could come back now because they already given the orders for them to return back to the orange zone and the some are already returning to the red zone. Uh, so uh, tell me something. If you have fled uh, because of the volcanic eruption 
And uh, there's nothing in St. Vincent for you. Lack of opportunities. Extreme poverty. Would you uh, return unless uh, things get uh, better? Uh, so, if you took uh, the job and was waiting on your turn to go away, my friend, think again. I told you you can't trust these people. If you took it uh, for your own uh, personal reasons or uh, for safety, uh, that's a different thing. Uh, but if you had your hopes high saying that, I would go to the BVI. I would go there and go there and go there. Think again. You see, you have to look into the thing deeply and watch the constituencies and the places uh, that were most affected in the red zones. Uh, some of the areas are the men's stronghold, uh, but they were hanging on by a chair, so they would not want to lose those people in those areas. Uh, do you think uh, they call the man uh, the world's greatest leader for no reason? Uh, the man is a genius. It had a guy in Kianawan. And he used to defend uh, some of the people when it comes to sorting issues. And it is alleged uh, that because he was speaking out and he was so powerful, uh, they called him and give him a big job so he don't speak out anymore. Uh, there was a video circulating around social media with two guys from the leeward side and uh, they were at a bar and one of the guys came in and said oh so you went against us and i stood on the man them side uh, so uh, the man asked the question how much they paid you and he jumped up 60 dollars uh, so the man looked upon him and said what 60 dollars could do for you every time this year they done that the 60 dollars done but uh, the man said low him where is that 60 dollars now uh, be honest with yourself uh, farmers how many of you had a good meal since you went uh, back uh, the men uh, that cultivated crops and the red animals on the banks of the volcano what are you doing now isn't it hard for you uh, remember you the ones uh, closest to the volcano would feel the most uh, pressure. Uh, don't uh, get confused. Uh, some party card holders would come and laugh up with you. Higigigi, higigigi, higigigi. Uh, don't uh, say anything, man. Let's go back to Sandy Bay. Your house would get fixed. When you go back, uh, nothing for you. But I want you to tell them this time uh, that uh, crap will say what is joke for you. Is a dove cut for me as uh, they tricked you after the floods and uh, now we have something uh, that is affecting the whole island you gonna make them trick you again uh, no uh, some of uh, those men are smarter than Callistos Yawa uh, they would come and tell you anything to get you to go back uh, there are some areas in which you could go back uh, to. But if your house is damaged, uh, tell them, please fix my house first. I am not taking those tricks this time. Uh, you ever watch uh, that Jamaican film, uh, Mr. Brinks? When Mr. Brinks is always saying he's not uh, going uh, back, by the time he spotted the young lady and she dialed down Mr. Brinks' head, Mr. Brinks reached back. In all of fairness, we have to give credit to the big man. It have a guy I know uh, that every time he comes out and he marks his ex uh, for them. And every time they promise him his house is going to be built. Every time uh, they have a campaign, he's jumping up on the truck uh, showing his acrobatic skills. While others are not uh, doing that and he's getting nothing. And if you mention uh, the big man's name around him and he hears you, he would tell you how many strings hold you. And uh, that's a big problem in the ghettos. Uh, those are the ones that are defending the big man uh, to the fullest. And uh, nothing is being done for them. They don't understand uh, they are persons with higher rank who get uh, the stuff more. Uh, with uh, that being said, I just want to big up uh, the entire population in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, uh, the regional islands and the international countries who are supporting and praying for us. We thank you. I'm out. <laughs>